Welcome back guys and today we are jumping back into SnowRunner with Komodo and as you can see we have some custom trucks already built and ready. We're out here on Sequoia National Park and it's time for us to go camping and who knows what other shenanigans we're going to find ourselves in along the way. But I think the first thing we need to do is get ourselves some camping trailers. But what is what what is hanging off of the back of your truck? Is that your your lunch? Yes, uh, I pack a massive lunch. You got a whole, must have like a whole turkey in there or something. We'll, we'll call it something like that. All right. So we're going to go camping today. And you say we can pretty much carry whatever we want out there? Just about, yeah. The road to get there isn't too bad. It's a little bit sketchy at times, but we have multiple routes we can take. So let me see if I can grab myself a camping trailer. Oh, this one is um cute. I guess. That one's actually kind of cool. Again, hold on. Let me see if I can find yeah. some. I, I can give us a, a big generator. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. Actually, let's maybe not do that one. Um, Hey, there's a pop-up camper. Oh, that's I haven't seen sick. one of those in ages. Yo, I could get me a race trailer. That's sick. That's I like so how we're awesome. going to we're gonna wind up like getting probably like tr race trailers and stuff. It's like, wait, where are we camping at? Like, what are we sleeping in? Yeah, exactly. I'm, aha, I might have to scrunch up a bit, but there you go. <laughs> so I got a problem. My lunchbox is too big to fit the trailer on. I got to go back to the garage and take my lunchbox off. You might have to like divvy up your lunch a little bit better and put it in a cooler. <laughs> well, we can put it in the, uh, we'll put it in the toolbox in the back. It's fine. Yeah, there you go. I think right, I'm, I'll, I'll be right back. All right. I think I'm pretty set on what camper I want to use, and I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be, like, the standard size camper, but let me, uh, oh, I've got even a little bit of a, a little bit of cool-looking, you know, solar panel up on top, get me power, good to go. By the way, I have probably the most unnecessary lift on this for, like, a dually. Oh, dude, you are so high in the air with that thing, it's not even funny, I mean... At least my truck is kind of, I mean, apart from the low profile tires, I mean, I could actually like see this thing going off road. I don't know. I mean, yours probably could as well, but that is tall for a dually. That, that is so tall. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous looking. All right, you, uh, you ready? Yeah, I, I'm just making sure that I know the way to go. I think we're going to go to the right. Although don't blame me if we get lost. I mean, isn't that what GPS is for? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Although I don't have the little, uh, the little radar-y thing that explores the map for you this time for some reason. I guess it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to work on this truck. So, whoa! This thing just, like, I went full throttle and it shifted and about, like, threw me into the next dimension. I mean, that's, that's always a good thing. It's, so. Uh, you, you said that the trails aren't too bad to get out there? Or? Not too bad, no. I mean, once we get off the main road, I'm sure they'll get a little sketchier, but... Oh, see, look at that. You got your little, yep. uh, got your little ranger station and some, uh, some areas to eat outside. See, you could have left your lunchbox there. You would have been fine. Be afraid somebody's going to steal my lunch. There you go. <laughs> see, we got a Chevy, you know, we got your Dodge... It's, it's probably going to be one of those Ford owners that's going to come by and steal your cooler, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, we, we won't talk about the Ford people. I, I think I've already ticked them off enough <laughs> in about every video I do. Fair. So, let's yeah. do a little, uh, let's cut through the woods. Just a, just a tad. Uh, you know where you're going, right? Oh, absolutely. This is, by the way, this is perfectly legal. The Rangers will not ticket us for this. It's okay, we're just killing a little bit of the wildlife and the, uh, the plants and stuff. It's just cool. ferns. They'll grow back. So, is there a place, if we were to bring some sort of ridiculous toy out here, is there a good place to run them? Absolutely. Also, uh, if you look to your right, there's a there's a canyon of doom. We might, uh, we might head over there later. Oh. Aha! Found the camp! There we go. Can we just knock these other vehicles out of the way, or...? Yeah, all we gotta do is claim our, uh... See, if we wanted to claim this one, I'm just gonna... This <laughs> one's gonna go in the lake. Oh! It it <laughs> fought back a little bit. Hold on! I, I might have claimed a couple spots over here. Did you? Oh, yep. 
Looks as though you did. All right, this Durango is going to go for a swim, have a bit of a bath, and then this is going to be my spot right here. See, I it, don't like oh the God. whole fact that the uh, the people that were here had bigger uh, campers than I do. Yeah. Can I push <laughs> these off? Or? I don't know. Those okay. may be, oop. Those may Those be a bit move. solid. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put mine over here. Okay. I'll put mine right over here. How nice of this person, by the way, to set up a tent for me as well. Yeah, yeah, it's totally not stolen. Oh, totally not Dude. at all. I shattered the front grill on this spine. All right, oh, I'm going to release good. this. There so we go. now that our campers are in position, what do you say we, what do you say we, before we head back to the garage to fix up our front ends, what do you say we do a little depth check on this lake right here? I mean, it looks pretty deep, but you know what? That sounds uh, like a good idea. <laughs> See, I mean, you know, whenever you go camping, I mean, at least for me, I'm like, well, we've gotten set up and everything. Camp is good. We're right by the lake. We might as well go swimming, right? Oh! How deep is it? Um. Wait, what the what? heck? What kind of lake does this? That's a little deeper than I thought. Okay. It wasn't even a gradual slope down. It was like a <laughs> canyon drop. <laughs> All right. So back to the garage we go uh, yeah. immediately. But now that our campsites are set up, I think we should see what kind of other areas this national park has to offer. Mainly the mud pit. I mean, do you think it's a good idea to go ahead and grab a trailer and load up a toy on it real quick? Just Absolutely. in case we find said, you know, mud pit and we want to go driving in it. Absolutely. By the way, uh, I think now is a good time to let you know that you have two exhausts. You have your hood stack yeah. and the one coming out the back. You know, it's really confusing because they're both just like rolling coal. I'm like, who even does this? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody that's attempted this. Double the coal, right? <laughs> there you go. All right. So we got this trailer. Oh, you're bringing mine. a long boy. Well, I don't know if there's... I don't know how big of a toy I'm going to want. So, because I don't actually remember what we brought with us. Because, you know, sometimes my brain takes a hiatus. So, let me uh, shut this thing down real quick. Yours looks sick, though. Yours looks like something that would show up at a racetrack. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get in the garage, too, real quick and see hmm. what we got. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited to see what we might be able to build here because I am very back. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> you know, I, I think you talked about something that we have in this server, and I I don't know if it'll even fit on the trailer. That's the problem. Is it um is it something that I'm looking at right now that allows you to, uh, let's say, run a tour service? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to just run this out of the garage now, leave the trucks here, then maybe come back and grab something smaller after. But I, I have to check this out. That's fair. You know, I might say that we'll both start up this tour service together. <laughs> there you go. Is there anything we can do? Oh, jeez. Oh. This is 67-inch tires. Why? Ah, uh, because why not? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh no. we can make it road legal. Road legal lights. I just put plastic characters in mine. They yeah, look that's kind of weird. They look like um they they look like mannequins to me. <laughs> oh no. Why are they why do they all have gray hair? Even the younger looking ones have gray hair. It's because of it's it's because they've already been on one too many of these tours and their hair has just gone gray. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, there was no way this thing's going to fit on the trailers. All right. Well, welcome to Sequoia National Park Off-Road go uh, Golf Cart Tours Incorporated. So uh, I'm going to follow your lead because I think you started this tour service. So <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll find somewhere. Okay. High gear. It doesn't Whoa. turn. I should okay, mention let's... we make every passenger sign a waiver before getting in this thing. I would think so. Was there a oh! rear skier version of this? Yes. Oh, what happened? Oh my god, I put it in high, and I had no memory of how crazy this thing actually was. When we yeah, put it in high, high here, it, it doesn't turn. Well, it well, not only does it not did. turn, it turns for you. And not in the oh. direction you want it to turn. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to stick with auto. Even auto, once you get up to, like, about fifth gear, yeah, it, like, it slides out really bad. I think we might want to take this turn on the left down here. 
Okay. Oh boy. I don't know where you're headed. Uh oh. Oh, did I pass the turn? I think you did. Um, I don't. I didn't see one. Uh, it looks like it goes down into a hole. Although I will say, looking at these uh, passengers' faces, especially the ones in the rearward-facing seats, they look really bored. And I think we might need to spice things up a bit. I might need to do some uh, some jumps. Maybe send them into the mud pit a bit. That sounds like a plan. Is there a mud pit over there? Oh yeah. Oh. And oh, you... there's the lift. How did I miss that? Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, God. I guess it could be easy to miss, but these holes are deep. Uh-oh. I've already uh -oh. almost flipped her. Oh, God. Wait, do the passengers have seatbelts? Um, they don't look like it, but they look pretty solid in their actual seating position. So I'm not going to worry about them. Yeet. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, but that looks like a better path. I'm going to come out. All right. Uh, hey. Did you notice yeah. there's a UFO out there? Where? Wait. Oh my Look god. Look this guy. Oh my god. Um, should we attempt to make contact? Uh, it seems like everything that I do, uh, it always somehow comes back around to uh, UFOs and aliens. Apparently. Come on. All right, here we go. Man, I don't know. These passengers still look pretty unamused. I mean, I'm going through the mud at breakneck speed and knocking over trees, and they're still like, meh, whatever. <laughs> I feel like we should just yeet him off a cliff. I mean, I'm down for that. Although, you know what we should do? I know it says in the company handbook not to do this, but we should race through the mud pit. Yeah, I'm, I was looking at this over here too. I'm all, what is this? Is this, oh, this is just a pile of logs. I thought it was like a log bridge or something over here. Oh no, that, that's, I think that's just like a log pile right there. Okay, well, point me in the direction. Which way are we racing here? Are we going up this or? Probably just like right from this side to the other end of the mud pit and just see who can get there first. Okay, so you want to line up beside me? Yes. All right. Okay. And three, two, one, go. Oh, boy. Ooh. Come on. Come on. I want to throw it in the high. Or I'm throwing it in the high. Yeah, mine shifted weird. Like, it, it took high gear, but it didn't... It's almost like it didn't want to. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh! I didn't, I didn't want to end up in the trees in the mud over there. How did you wheelie like that? I think I climbed up over your back tires for a second. Oh, because I had no idea. Oh, no, I got into the deep stuff and started spinning. No! Come on! Yeah, I was I was wanting to avoid that. My, uh, my people look a little bit happier now. Oh, really? Dang, no, you're gonna just... get you're gonna get the best review. <laughs> they still look dead on the inside. Oh, okay. Who knows? Oh. Maybe... Whoop. You knocked that tree right over. All right. There goes another one. Come on. Where I... does this mud pit end? Is this it up here? Yeah, like right up there is where it ends. But I almost want to like once we've actually driven all the way through here, I do think we ought to try to drive up that mountain though and actually see if we could scale it. You know, I mean, these people paid for a few. They paid for a tour. Let's give it to okay. them. Let's do it. Oh, boy. I didn't realize there was a road over there. Uh, I think that road is kind of a loop road. Like it goes back around to where we were before. Gotcha. Oh God. Oh, oh we that's... don't need to loop back with these. We got this. Oh, ah. oh, I stalled it out. There we go. You're good. 